Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Just about everything right now on the FC24 market is rising. Prices are up just about everywhere after yesterday's Monday market rise, but are we near the peak? We're going to talk about some market trends that we've seen in the first two weeks of this game that might point towards some action that we need to take today and in the next couple of days related to this market. So we're going to talk a lot about that today. And also, we already have news about what our next promo is going to be we have some leaks of a brand new concept that we have never seen before in ultimate team and it's a promo that might be coming out this friday so we're going to talk about that today and a lot of other things if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's go over yesterday's content guys it was a quiet day as expected less content than even what we really expect it to be. One SBC was good, one SBC was bad. We'll start with the bad first. The 84 plus double upgrade pack, which we can do every two days. An 85 rated squad is the requirement of this. You have to turn in a full squad of 85 rated players, or which technically means like a lot of 85s and a couple of 84s in that squad to get an 84 times two back. And actually think of it this way, if you are on the fence of completing it or not, it's 34,000 coins to complete in terms of fodder and what you could get back from it and what a lot of people are getting back is two 84 rated cards and last time I checked 84s were yeah literally their minimum price at 1.2k so that is a definition of an IQ test is what some people say or a gamble right I did not do the SBC I saw some people get really good stuff from it I saw a lot of people get a lot of really bad stuff here's what I'd tell you to do instead if you want to gamble a little bit but not really break the bank or risk too much do some 80 plus upgrades guys these all you need are which I'm out of non rares because I've been turning non rares into this SBC all you need are five non rares and one rare six players total that you turn into this SBC and what you get back is one 80 plus rare gold player which is honestly the best upgrade SBC that we have had so far this year now I know it's only a one player upgrade it's not a player pick which some people were hoping for that but we skipped the 78 plus double and we went straight to the 80 plus upgrade which I'm a fan of and these aren't going to give out insane stuff every single time I'll be honest I'm getting a lot of duplicates as I open these upgrade packs but I'm consistently getting 83s 84s who's this did I just get uh stones is that stones city center back 85 stones so that's a really good example not all the packs are like that and i think that might even be a duplicate for me i must have put him into an sbc great all right that's going into an sbc probably the player of the month son hopefully coming this friday i'll be saving up some of the fodder for that but that sbc in my opinion is way better as the game is going to crash on me and i'll reset it really fast um then the 84 double upgrade now that was really the majority of our content yesterday and that's why the market has moved so much guys i want to overview a little bit of the market because prices are flying after yesterday's monday market rise which was expected right we knew that prices were going to go up i mean i didn't buy many gold cards in terms of cards that i wanted to flip yesterday in the early monday hours heading into the monday content drop but golds had some crazy rises as weekend league rewards were paid out people got coins they went out to the market to buy cards it kind of went down just as we thought that it would it was gold cards that went up the meta and it was also cards from the road to the knockouts team Team too, right? Modric went up. Um, Joao Pedro was a card that I bought a couple of. I actually sold him too early. Guys, some of these cards, this is something we have to kind of talk about. When we think about Monday market rises for the future, this is a trend that happens just about every single week. And I want to dive into it just a little bit more quickly. But uh, this is something that we do almost every single week because weekly rewards are paid out every single week, right? And of course, last weekend being the first weekend of weekly, it's nice to see this trend back. Sometimes, though, we think about selling cards before the content drop every single day, right? Joao Pedro, I ended up selling him right here, 297,000 coins. I bought two of these down here at about 265. And yes, I took the profit here and it was good profit, right? You can see, boom, 295 is what I sold Joao Pedro for, or 297. But then after content, since content was so quiet, he went, boom, up even further because people were like, nah, I'm just going back out to the market to buy more cards, right? So that's one thing I want to point out with this is it's a little bit more risk if you want to on Mondays, hold all the way till after the content drop because it works on some cards. Other ones it didn't work on. Like Hinkape went from 50K all the way to 72, one of the biggest price rises um, on the market yesterday. Goodso was another one that I traded with. 
he went up a lot and he went up after the content drop a little bit as well up to 24,000 coins so a couple things to point is or to point out is you don't always have to sell before content on Mondays if you think it's going to be a quiet day now if it ended up being good content these prices probably would have dropped off more and also something to point out is the mini release cards right we just looked at Hinkape and Goza these cards moved up a ton and it's because they're rare, but the people also want to try them out. And you see on Sunday, their prices, as they got put in packs in the mini release, just went down, 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 down. And then in those early morning hours, they hit a low point and started to rebound back up. That's something to watch for every Sunday night that we have a mini release for cards that look meta and that people would want to try and are pretty popular. So that's what I wanted to point out from the market rise that we had yesterday. Heroes, icons, promo cards. It was a really, really good day on the market. It's always fun, right? When your card prices go up as much as they have in the past day or so. Now, let's talk about the market trend that we're really wanting to focus on today because in the past couple of weeks, I want to look at some graphs here in a second. The first two weeks in this game, I know this game is young, right? We are still building our coin balances. We're still building our clubs, our teams, and everything along those lines. Um, wow, that's an undercut for Jong right there. $6.99. That's a pretty good price for him. Anyways, um, the market in the past two weeks has kind of been on a trend. And it's worked the same way both of the last two weeks in terms of how prices have fared from Monday to Friday. I don't know if you guys remember what happened last week on the market. But if you take a look, you can see here that on, of course, last week, on this last Friday, prices absolutely tanked, right? Well, that happened two Fridays ago as well. Griezmann went from 90K, not, definitely was not as drastic, but Griezmann went from 90K down into the low 80s, and then he went up big time on Monday and Tuesday, ended up peaking on Tuesday at 102,000 coins. We all know what happened this last Friday, right? Griezmann went down to 78K. He was even lower than that at the lowest of the lows. And where are we at with Griezmann? back up to almost 100,000 coins, right? And you can see last week, as we're going to look at a lot of cards right now, on a lot of these top tier metas, the peak was like Monday to Tuesday. You can see Musiala went down to 69K, was in the mid 60s. He went up to 75K-ish, 74,000 coins on Tuesday before dropping off slowly through the rest of the week. And that's the point that I want to show you guys today is if you bought cards for a team or if you bought cards at some point during the weekend that are tradable, that are in your side, whether it's flips, whether it's, again, stuff for your team, specifically on gold cards, right? I'm talking gold cards that are of the lower ratings that people are going to kind of maybe move out of their teams here pretty soon. Where's Alex Morgan? That's a card I want to show you guys. She had a crazy rise yesterday as a lot of people were talking about how insane this card is with the Finesse Shot Plus playstyle, which it is insane in game. But what I want to show you is this card dropped from 45,000 coins down to 25K and was literally... 89 rated fodder. 89 rated were like 20,000 coins, 21K. She was almost that price range over the weekend. She had a big spike up in price yesterday. Guys, I have to imagine that her card is probably going to drop back down into the low 30K range. We're probably getting new cards this weekend with this Finesse Plus playstyle. I don't know how many, but we're probably getting new cards with playstyle pluses this weekend. I think it's going to rock the market entirely if what the leaks to this promo say are pretty true. So what I would tell you to do is be careful with any tradable cards that you have because if things work out the rest of this week like they have in the previous two weeks, which I think they will. I don't think this week is really different from previous weeks. We have more SBCs that are on the game right now. Uh, when I say the content's better, maybe we have cheaper promo cards. Not that they're going to be playing in games this week to get upgrades, at least most of them. So the content is about on par with how it was last week we have a promo that is leaked and it's going to start creating some probably a little bit of panic and a little bit of hype as well so i can't imagine the market's going to be too different this week unless maybe the first week in the rewards just put so many coins on the market and a lot of people don't want to sell the prices don't drop off as much nevertheless i just feel like again that the the market's probably not going to have as many upturns as we go from today on tuesday onwards as it has in the past day or so, right? I'm not expecting the market to continue to fly. I'm expecting it to probably start to slowly drop off until Friday. So that's the thing I'm trying to get across today, guys, and tell you about is maybe, maybe you don't start selling those cards right away, but maybe you just take a look at the market and say, okay, I have Rashford in my team right now. I really don't want to lose 50,000 coins on Rashford by the time we get to the weekend. Um, if he's not in the promo team, who knows um, if he is or not? That's just a guess. But for a guy like Rashford, 
Uh, he's up in price. If you don't want to lose coins on him, maybe you think about selling here in the next couple of days. I'm not expecting Rashford to be like 150k tomorrow. I'm not expecting a huge market crash today in this game by any means. It's pro The biggest drops are probably going to be towards Friday, right? With a brand new promo, maybe Thursday for panic. If there's a loading screen, the, the promo concept looks really sick. If the leaks look insane, there could be some more price drops then. But I'm just saying today might be kind of the peak for that. So I'm not saying you have to go and sell right away. Just kind of do what you want to do with cards you have in your team. I also know a lot of us are playing the cup. You're playing rivals. You need your team for champs. So I don't think you'd lose a lot of coins if you held on from now until Wednesday or Thursday. You might lose a little bit, but you still have those cards in your team that you'd be able to make coins off of by having them in your team and getting those rewards. So that's what I want to point out to with that trend that I think is going to continue into this week on this game. And also, we've already mentioned it, but the leaks, guys. Now, there's been a new leak account that has been posting specifically in the past day about this upcoming promo, but Foot Sheriff is backing up this account and retweeting what he is saying about the Trailblazers promo that is coming this weekend. And this promo sounds really sick because players will be getting a Playstyle Plus or a completely new one if they already have a playstyle. So obviously players have playstyles and playstyle pluses. So one of the players that is leaked right now to be in the promo team is Sophia Smith. She does not have any playstyle plus items, but she does have a lot of play styles. So I think what they're saying is one of these playstyles would either be upgraded to a playstyle plus, or she would get a completely new playstyle plus that would honestly transform the way that these cards play in game. We all know that the reason, like we just looked at Alex Morgan, right? The reason why Alex Morgan is so hyped right now in this game is because she has the finesse plus playstyle, or like Benzema. The reason why a lot of people are using him, even though he's like fodder price, is the playstyle plus. And a lot of these cards in game are so much more meta and insane because they have those better animations. And they're more skillful in those certain areas with the playstyle pluses. This is going to be a massive promo, guys. It all comes down to the players that are going to be in it. And the two players that are leaked right now are Sophia Smith and Jude Bellingham. So that's those are some pretty big leaks. Now, again, guys, I'm taking this with still a pinch of salt. And I'm a little bit skeptical because it's so early on in the week. I would wait until we see more news later on this week. If it's a brand new promo that we've never seen before, which this is. Because obviously, Playstyle Pluses are brand new to uh, this FC24 Ultimate Team. I would expect to see a loading screen for sure. A loading screen 100% kind of promoing what this is going to be about. Building the hype. Building the expectations. I really feel like for the new promos that we've never had before. EA make sure to release a loading screen on like Wednesday. Updated on Thursday. Before the promo drops on Friday. So I would be very expectant of a loading screen potentially tomorrow. By the way things are shaping up right now. Again I'm just a little skeptical based off of how this is shaping out. But the fact that Foot Sheriff is quote tweeting it. Um, I don't know if he's quote tweeting it because he believes that this guy is right or if he actually has the same information himself. The leak Twitter drama that we will just will never know, right? So that's what we take it with a pinch of salt. But this promo kind of sounds sick. Also, this car design is not final. That is a predicted car design, as it says here in the tweets. So just kind of be aware that that might look completely different as we maybe load up a video tomorrow. And we're talking about all the new news that we know about the promo, but just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, also, if you have Sophia Smith or if you have a gold Jude Bellingham, for some of these cards, I would definitely consider selling in the hype. I mean, we've seen what has happened when a card gets bought up because they're going to go out of packs. Like Jude Bellingham went up a bunch and you could have sold him and then he kind of came back down and then now he's rising back up into the next week. You can kind of double dip with these like out of packs gold cards that people invest in so maybe with the Sophia Smith you start to think about that Jude's obviously been out of packs because he has an inform so that's kind of its own really interesting situation which we'll continue to monitor throughout the rest of the week as well but let's talk about today's content on Tuesday before we dive into a little bit more market at the end of the video SBCs on Tuesday today foot sheriff speaking of leaks um, he did tweet out Bergwine as an SBC yesterday. He said that this is coming soon. This is one of the SBCs that we thought to had that we thought we were going to have because he tweeted out earlier in the week. So I'm expecting to see. Honestly, 
I think that we might see that today. Like that seems like a Tuesday kind of SBC content vibe for me. I don't know if we have any player SBCs expiring today. A lot of stuff is still going to be here. Yeah, a lot of this player SBC stuff is still going to be here. So it's not like it's replacing any of those. But maybe you watch out for a couple Air Divisie cards that would move. I don't think there's a lot of hype for IX right now and for a special card like that. But one SBC and a type of SBC that we talked about in the stream yesterday that I'm really hoping to see more of are just like the challenge SBCs. Like... Where's um, a, I don't know, 15k pack or like a 25k pack tradable SBC? Again, we mentioned this the first week of the game. We've had two of them so far. I know we've had player SBCs that have tradable packs inside of them. Like every segment of Jonathan David gets you a tradable SBC, right? But it's not quite the same. Like it's just nice sometimes to do a one or a two part SBC to get a couple of packs. It's kind of like maybe a mini marquee matchups before... You know, you actually get the real marquee matchups on Thursday. I don't know why EA aren't dropping SBCs like those. Maybe because they don't like how it moves the market. And like, obviously, Torino cards went to super ex expensive prices. Remember when they dropped the Reds and the Reds and Blues SBC at the beginning? Liverpool and like PSG players went up a lot. So maybe they don't like that. I don't know. But I hope an SBC like that, that would shake up the market a bit as well and present some really great opportunities to trade along with making some investments and being able to sell cards for what is required in the SBC. So from a mar market perspective, and also who doesn't love a pack or two, right? For a pretty cheap 10,000 or coin less SBC, where are those at? I love some of those on this game and maybe one of those drops today, but it might be another quiet day of content today on Tuesday as well. Now let's talk about a couple really quick things to end off the video. We have live cards in action today, but maybe not in the way that you think. Guys, we have two UWCL um, players, Huth and Mallard, and they both have games today. Now, these cards, if you take a look at the actual card, they have a different upgrade path than the men's cards because these, in, in the women's champions league right now, they're trying to qualify for the group stage. There's an additional plus one inform upgrade for Huth and Mallard, as you can see right here, that top line. The games that they have today on Tuesday are the first of two legs. Um, I believe United play PSG and Wolfsburg play Paris FC. It's the first of two legs. So after today's game, a result will not be final for an upgrade, but it'll be the first of two legs, of course, so that you could maybe know who is going to get upgraded. So upgrades are on the line today for Huth and for Mallard. So watch out for these two cards because they are live and they could be moving a little bit on the market today. I'm not investing in them right now. Mallard is up in price a bit for sure. Um, but I'm going to be careful with really investing in those, but we'll keep an eye on those scores today. And if you're trading today, guys, let's just throw this out there as well. If you're trading today, one of the best places I can tell you to trade right now is with out of pack specials and the heroes. They fluctuate a decent amount. Icons I would throw into there as well. They fluctuate a decent amount because... Uh, people are buying cards, right? I bought a Luis Diaz at 700K. He is a super duper rare card. I'm trying to get a, a hopeful sale like 750, 760, 770. Um, Drogba, I bought under 700K. That's why the one that I saw there at um, 699 was like, wow, that's pretty low. And right now he's getting undercut a little bit. I don't know why these are listed overnight. It's really random, but he's been like 800K the past two days. So I'm just hoping for rarity to kick in a little bit on a card like this. And we'll get a couple of pretty good sales. And I'm lazy listing a lot of my fodder. Like you guys know, I invested in some fodder. I have it in my club and on the transfer list. I'm lazy listing those cards on the market for four to 5,000 coins over where it actually sells because sometimes you do get the sale. So again, I wanted to point out, just get on the out of packs cards because they're the ones that fluctuate the most. And I would say, give a special shout out to team one of Road to the Knockouts because these cards, you guys remember from last week, are incredibly, incredibly rare. Lamer was a card that we flipped yesterday on stream that did well for a lot of people. So keep a close eye on those cards. Old team of the weeks continue to move. Ooh, Harry Kane at 127. That's a pretty low price because usually, as you can see, yesterday during the day, he went up to uh, 132, I guess, is as high as he got. So maybe you try to get up on a bid or an undercut for there. Uh, I still think you'll be able to trade in a market today if it is dropping off a little bit. Just focus on those rare cards and the ones that people would still be buying and the ones that would fluctuate in price. Those flipping graphs, doing a little bit of research, finding the ups and downs is definitely very, very important. So that's the video for today, guys. I'm really interested to see what we learn more about the new upcoming promo of the Trailblazers promo and also what content we get today on uh, Tuesday as we continue to grind through the cup and grind through these upgrade packs and SBCs. And of course, the Rivals gameplay, hopefully Evolutions tomorrow. We'll talk about that more in tomorrow's video. Please, EA Sports, 
give us more evolutions. But that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you do. See you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Peace out.